Hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. Please look at the other content and if you enjoy the other content on this channel, please be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Today, I am going to be working on these mugs that I ordered from Amazon about a month ago. These are 11 ounce sublimatable mugs that I ordered from Amazon. They came eight in a pack for $30. I did order these a month ago. I'm not sure if the seller still has these available. However, I will, if I will check to make sure the link is still active and I will post the link below in case you are interested in these mugs. But at that time, they were about $29.99 for eight mugs, okay? So we are going to test this out and see, like everything that you order from Amazon for sublimation, you want to make sure that it says sublimation in the title of the item. You also want to read the description and make sure in the description they are using terms that are related to sublimation as far as the heat time, pressing with mug presses or convection ovens, and that it says that these are for sublimation. All right, so we're about to get started, y'all. Now we're in Adobe Illustrator, and I already have the template for the mug pulled up. And this is the same mug, this is the same template that I use for uh, the color changing mug also the cups are identical so i will use this template i'm not using this circle i usually use this circle template for the bottom of the cup but i will not be putting anything on the bottom of the cup so to get ready to start designing these uh circles or half circles that's just for the handles uh because i usually like to do these cups in a full wrap all right so let's see what we I have no idea what design I want to do. So this is really going to be a basic, basic design. But, all right, guys. So I'm super lazy today and I don't really feel like being that creative. So I am going to go over to designbundles.net where everyone is so creative and they have these amazing designs. And I'm going to see what they have going on for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm going to look for something that's free. So I'm going to click on free designs and they do have a few things that are free. Um, they have this cute little Valentine gnome trio sublimation set and they have some things. I'm just not really, uh, yeah, no, but they have some cute things. Let me try, and then I could keep looking. You can search and do Valentine's Day or whatever it is that you want to do. But I am going to go into um, Creative Fabrica. So we're in Creative Fabrica, and I always go to their discount deals. They have so many other things. They have freebies too. Let's see what freebies they have. Uh, they have some free fonts. Very nice things. They, they usually have both Creative Fabrica and Design Bundles. But there is something that I saw um, on the discount deals. And these are images and fonts that are available for a dollar. And it's usually available for a limited amount of time. And that butterfly font is cute with the little butterflies. I love butterflies. Uh, let's see. Okay, they have some cute things here. But if you have a design um, software and you're familiar with design software, a lot of the sayings, you can turn those into SVG files if you're looking for cut files yourself. But it is easier when somebody else has it already available. And these are more designs. And this, I want this one. Love one another. I think it's perfect for today which happens to be MLK Day. 
And so I'm going to get this one. And let's see, you can click onto it to see what it looks like. And there are uh, different color palettes that you can, can choose from once you download it. So we're going to go ahead and get this for our mug. All right, guys. So now I'm going to get ready to make a background. I've already downloaded the image. So I'm going to get ready to make a background within the template. And I'm going to click draw inside because I want the file that I'm going to import first to be embedded in the template. Okay, so I want to make a background because there are several different uh, images with that file that I just got from Creative Fabrica, but I do want to have a solid background behind it. So we're going to move this up. And you can make them as small as you want. Well, as small that will fit. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. I'm going to send that to the back so that I can see my little holes. All right, so that part is done. Now I'm going to place well i still want to make sure that i click on to draw inside okay so now i'm going to get ready to place the image inside of the template the one that we got from creative fabrica and i am going to use this one that way we can still kind of see the words and yeah, still see a bit. I'm just going to adjust it to kind of fit a little bit better. All right, so what I'm going to do next, I am going to remove around the main template, I am going to remove the outline because I don't want that to print. Okay, and then I'll also remove the outline there, make that outline white. Because once it prints, um, yeah, once you get ready to sub on whatever it is that you're subbing on, you don't want the outline on your item. All right, so that's it. And I'm going to get ready to print this. That was very simple. I'm going to delete the circle because I can use the bottom half of this paper for something else. All right, guys, so we're done with our design and it's exactly how I like it. It's very busy, like me. And I am going to get ready to print this out. We're going to be using the Epson Eco Tank 2750 today. And as you can see, this template is too large to really fit within the parameters of the, the print settings. So I'm going to switch this over to borderless printing. Sometimes the borderless printing comes out a little bit larger than what we have um, printed, but we will see hopefully today it won't. And so it will stay, it will be, it will print the entire image. And then of course I want to go into setup. I definitely need to make sure that these print settings are up to par and so I'm going to switch this to premium presentation mat, high quality, and of course mirror your image. Okay, it has, mm, let me do a minimum, I don't want it to be too bad. Alright, so I'm going to go into color options and then in color options I'm going to Click Advance, Adobe RGB, and I'm going to up the brightness to about 2. And we are ready to print. And I'm going to simply cut this out and place it onto our mug using heat tape and also painter's tape. Today I am using, again for the second time, crafting Bessie's paper. So we will see how it comes out. So now make sure that your cup is 
nice and clean. Make sure that there is nothing um, that will prevent the ink from transferring onto your, your cup. It could be a small speck of anything. You do just want to make sure that it's a nice clean surface. You can clean it off with alcohol. All right, guys, so we are going to get ready to wrap our cup. And it's going to be very, very simple. And it will meet up at the other side. And then I am going to tape it together. I am going to tape it and then I will wrap it with the painter's tape. Okay, so I'm just going to take this. You do want to give it a nice pull because you want it to be very, very tight. So just give it a nice pull. I am going to take this and just pull it this way, the same thing. You don't want to see any like air bubbles or pockets or anywhere, anything near your or on the cup where the images are because when you see that, then that means that it's not making contact with the cup. So you just want to kind of keep it pressed really, really tight. So next, I'm simply going to, I don't know if you've seen any of the other videos that I've done with the mugs, but I'm just going to wrap the painter's tape around the mug nice and tight, okay? So we have our cup wrapped. And we are going to get ready to put this into the convection oven. All right, guys, so now we are at the convection oven and we are going to put our cup inside. It's um, convection, it's at 400 degrees. I have my oven thermometer inside and it's showing that it's maybe about like 410 inside. This is a, a this is a Hamilton Beach convection oven. It's the extra large rotisserie oven. I'm going to put this mug in for 12 minutes. Every convection oven is different. You will have to test it out to see what works best for you and your mugs. But I have worked with similar mugs, and I'm thinking that um, I can use the same settings that I usually use, okay? So I'm just gonna place this here in the center and I'll let that bake for 12 minutes. All right guys, so we are done with um, baking our cup. Let's see how it turned out. You should always, if you are just getting started out and even if not, if you've been doing it for a while, you should always have you some heat gloves. I have misplaced my heat gloves and I have no idea where they are. So I usually use my regular cooking gloves to take it out of the oven and just, you know, to take it out of the oven and to kind of manipulate it a bit. That works for me, but you really should have heat gloves because when it comes out, it is super hot. And I let this cool off for a few minutes and it is really, really hot still. I have my weeding tool that I usually use, but be careful using the weeding tool because it can scratch your image. I try not to use it too much. And your fingernails can also scratch your image. I have done that countless times. My right, guys, so right, so here is the cup that we sublimated onto. And it looks good. 
I did it as full wrap as I possibly can. Right here could be a little bit more pressure. I should have probably typed it a little bit tighter. But nonetheless, I am pleased with the outcome of the cup. I don't know if you guys want to see the back, but I don't know if you can see. See, underneath is good, but I should have put a little bit more pressure. And I kind of knew that was going to happen, but I like it. And it's for me. And it's cute. All right, y'all. So we are all done sublimating this mug from Amazon. And again, the link will be below. It came out really good. The only place it's just a little light where there was, wasn't was enough pressure right there at the top. But that can be fixed easy. Um, I really could have just moved the image up a little bit or the paper up a tad bit. But it came out good. And I'm going to enjoy sipping from this mug and it does say love one another and i made that for today is mlk day and also next month is valentine's day so this is perfect for me to sip out of so remember all convection ovens um they they range when you put your mug or tumbler inside of the convection oven it's okay the temperature will drop do not turn it back up okay just don't try to get hotter just let it go in and if it drops a few degrees that is perfectly normal and it's perfectly fine all right that is it for today if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like the video and if you aren't a subscriber yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you will be notified of when we post new content also Hop over to Facebook and join us on Craftable Things, our Facebook group. And there are so many crafters on our group who can, or so many crafters in our group, who can assist you and help you answer questions. We love seeing each other's work. So definitely go by there. And also, I have a new YouTube channel called Teach Craft Live. And it's really basically vlogging about daily life about crafting about teaching about business about life i even post on their uh sublimation haul videos or crafting haul videos where i will be going to different craft stores or different stores looking for things that we can make all right so that's it for today thank you all so much for watching until next time <music>